you guys are going to experience what an average weekend for me and Crystal's like right now. Thrifting. Yep. You're not a big thrifter, Cole. No, I'm not that big of a thrifty. Sometimes I like it. Any sort of deal in life that I even feel like I'm getting, even if it's not a deal, I love it. I live for it. We're gonna try to do a Goodwill challenge. I'm gonna go in here and see what they got for camouflage and kill a deer or two and some Goodwill clothes, so join us. Let's go see what we can find here. If they don't have anything in there, though, I got a bunch of stuff that I've already bought at Goodwills and thrift stores in the past that we're gonna use, so go in here and see what we find. Under Armour, it's getting towards fitting you. How much you want for that? It's pretty fancy clothes right there. One of the green tags, six eighty nine. dollars It's a pretty good deal for a nice hoodie. Oh, that's nice, Cole. That actually is nice. I'm actually gonna get this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we actually are. I need a rain jacket. Outdoor well, life. It's not gonna rain today, but it's a good, yeah, there's a few holes in it, but. Is there? Yeah, there's one right here. Camouflage blanket or something down there. <laughs> Oh, nice. There's a little dog hair on it. That's all right. Where'd you get that shirt? Goodwill. <laughs> Thrift store. Goodwill. Merrill's size 11. They're women's. Perfect. Doesn't fit though. Probably perfect size. Oh yeah, perfect. How much are they? 850? I'm gonna hold on to those so nobody takes them. If you shoot your muzzle at her out of that thing, you're just gonna fall over backwards. <laughs> funny. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get it. We'll try to shoot something out of it. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> Let me try that off. That fits like a glove, boy. Looks good on you. Nice and quiet, too. I think I'm good. That's all I need. You're just getting the chair? I've done all my shopping already, so. You're wearing half the store. Guess how much I want for this? Four? Six. How much for your coat, Ted? <laughs> I don't even know. That's what I was just thinking. I was like, I don't even know how much this is. Yeah, I think that's what that sign said back there. Right around eight bucks. Oh man, that's nice. It is stylish. Seems like that would really break the wind. Yeah, I mean, this would be good for hunting, going out on the town, anything. Do you guys need any films? There's all kinds of them over there. No, we got white tail Let's see what they got. Have us good for about 15 hours. They got the Incredibles, Despicable Me, Lion King, Happy Feet. When I was a kid, you'd come in here and they'd have tapes. Did you get your gear today? Oh, no. But nope. We're fixing to, we hope. I got mine. Oh, yeah. There oh, you go. That. that looks nice. Oh, man, that's Senior cool. Senior discount today, though. So. That is cool. Yeah. Dang it. Crystal's got that thing full of stuff. You should see all the different cups and like little jars with deer on them that she has out there. She goes to thrift stores every weekend with her grandma and like every piece of like uh, glassware and stuff that we have just has like deer, pheasants and stuff like that on it. That'll do it. I think we made some pretty solid purchases just then. Tell them the real reason why we do these videos. Just to show that you don't need to have really anything that's that expensive to go out and kill a deer squirrel or whatever you're after i mean you don't really even need camouflage ted's probably gonna wear that jacket or could wear that jacket if he wanted to we ourselves sell like pretty nice hunting gear on our website and yeah you can buy it and you'll be a little more comfortable out there in certain situations but really people have been killing deer and flannels and blue jeans for the longest time so you don't need to have a bunch of trinkets and stuff like that to go out and have success and have fun so that's kind of the point of like these walmart challenge type videos goodwill challenge type videos Right there. Hmm? 20 bucks. This is Ted's costume right here. You want this one, Cole Booth? Go ahead, Buck, make my day. Or hunters make better lovers? <laughs> Which one do you want? I want the hunters make better lovers. Lord, <laughs> do you want one of these? You got two go ahead, That's Buck, make my day hats. Oh, I like that brown one. There you go. Thanks. I'm going tree bark. <laughs> Here's an orange vest for you, Ted. Matches the pattern of your uh, jumpsuit. It's reversible, wow. All kinds of stuff here. You guys have really done a great job with your thrifting. This is all Jake, all I got was the fog. <laughs> That's rank. <laughs> it's like a duck coat, but it's got a life jacket built into it. If anybody has any old tree bark stuff, 
feel free to message me and send it to me if you don't want it or anything old really that's hunting related he's a collector oh there we go that's perfect <laughs> it feels great <laughs> <laughs> Does it? You can feel, oh, you move nice and I'm surprised that you got some range of motion in your legs. I figured you'd just be stiff. <laughs> oh man, this is bow hunting October whitetails all over again. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think we're gonna get a shot at something here in the next hour and a half, two hours. Show the field and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Perfect. Pretty windy today. We're just gonna go set up. We got a real thick leeward ridge, so we're hoping there's some deer bedded up on it. Warb and Ted are just gonna still hunt towards us, let their wind kind of blow down through some of that stuff, and we're gonna get set up on a real good crossing trail on the head of one of these little drainages. So we're gonna ease back in there and hopefully some deer come slipping past. All right, this is our first little hunt with our Goodwill clothes on. Cole and Jake just loop, made a loop around and got over here a couple ridges away from us. And so me and Ward been sitting up here for the last 20 minutes waiting for him to get in position and now ease our way through some of this thick woods here. Probably gonna involve a lot of crawling, a lot of sweating, a lot of cussing under our breath, but hopefully we can nudge a deer out and get him to run by Jake and Cole over there. There's an old nanny laid up yonder right there. Oh. Yeah. oh. I got a good feeling. You better be ready with that musket there. I gotta get a primer in there. Here we go, off on another adventure. In our brand new clothes. I don't know much, but I know those are definitely not brand new. They kinda smell like cigarettes. I do. I wonder why. A lot of locust pods in here. Good winter deer food. I know that. Too bad we aren't after the bucks. That ain't good. Sawed his horns off. What? Somebody sawed his horns off. Really? Well, that's crap. They just shot it and left it lay. Looks like it. It's either that or they took the hunt. No, they didn't take the hindquarters. That one hindquarters left. Just a little buck and then they cut his horn, his antlers off. Cut his antlers off and got out of Dodge. Why would they even cut his antlers off? Keepsake, I guess. That's trash. Not good. Don't be like these people. Don't do that. That's bad. Don't shoot a deer and leave it lay. Wonder if they, yeah, that's just not good. They probably had a doe tag and shot a buck and then didn't want to claim it. Probably didn't want to walk out with it or something they probably thought it was a doe and shot a little buck and then they didn't want to put their buck tag on a little buck or something yeah that's crap we got to be better than that people that sucks all right onward no shots from our fellow hunters up here not yet back on these there's like a group of three or four that went out and then we got a little closer and another one got up though so it's quite a bit closer but I never just didn't give you a shot huh not clear Well, we got skunked on the drive. We did see some natural movement across the bottom though. I did not get any footage of it because it was fleeting. Well, there was a deer going across there. You guys all just have to trust us on that one. Got a $4 pair of coveralls on, a $300 vest, and a $150 set of shooting sticks. $600 gun and a $600 scope for us. No, that scope's actually quite affordable. It's a Vortex Diamondback. Yeah. These boots are not comfortable. Really? No. Well, they were so only $6, I'm sure. They're the wrong size. <laughs> Look at how skinny your ankles are. $20. They're <laughs> not comfortable because there's no blood flow getting to your toes. <laughs> I can't even feel my feet. <laughs> Me and Cole both took 
two pretty good diggers. You gonna pull your hat down or just kinda? It's nice cause you can flip the brim up if you need more sunlight. All right, well good luck. We're gonna go find somewhere else to hunt. Here we go, off on another adventure. We just walked across this bottom over here and got up against this tree now because uh, this is where we saw that doe going across about 30 minutes ago. Good thick ridge up here in front of us. Nice little cove back in here where they like to cross. So uh, probably got a pretty good shot at seeing a deer at least. Got a little less than an hour of daylight left, so never know what might happen. We walked right past that, huh? Walked right by it. The reason they didn't come down to that uh, drainage is because the last time they didn't, they didn't make it through. Yep. Well, at least they took the meat on these. Are they both does? Yeah. Five dead deer we found today. Yeah. It's a massacre back here. <laughs> They're not doing too good back there. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's our second attempt at the Goodwill Challenge here. Yesterday was kind of a bust, but I got new optimism this morning. Super nice weather to just be out, kind of still hunting around, about 30 degrees, really calm right now. We're just gonna kind of work our way into a crosswind and uh, probably sit in these coves for a little bit and see if any deer are crossing. See if we can get a shot at something. See a deer down there. Right in with that light guard tree. Grunting. The big one's on the left, right? Yep. There's gotta be a doe down there with them somewhere for us to shoot. They're looking all around like there's more deer. Huh. That's kind of a tank. Yeah. I wanna get up just a little bit so we can see and shoot over there if we have to, but yeah, maybe just there's there. another deer coming up. Another buck. Another big buck. We're just not going to see any does. What the? Oh, this is pretty sweet. We're out of buck tag. We, we don't have any buck tags, just why anybody's wondering. Just in case anybody's wondering why we're not going to shoot bucks, it's because we don't have tags. Oh, they're sparring now. We might move up to that tree while they're doing that.
watering session pulled all the bugs out of the cedars. There's a deer coming out there. Looks like a buck. Yep, nice buck. So funny, we got a slip in here and shoot a doe. That's the other big one. Right, too. It's got multiples. Another deer coming off the ridge there. To the left. bigger one. <laughs> he looks like an old boy. I wish I had a clear shot of that doe right now. Really make things erupt back in here. Really start the rut. Probably no one. idea to get me a shake this morning, it's a fawn. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get a shot. You on the left one?
Ready? to tell with all the deer, I don't know. There's a bunch of them. <laughs> I don't know if I hit her. I don't know if I hit either. I got it small down, so. Yeah. When I looked up, I could just see that, those ears there. It didn't really sound like you hit her, did it? No, I don't think so. I, didn't, I put it behind her shoulder just because I didn't want her to eat meat, but. Oh, got hair. <laughs> That's good. Right in blood, right with it. I should have hit her well if I hit her. The only thing I was a little worried about was missing lower hide. Just like I said, I felt like I kind of jerked it, but like she was so close that I didn't. I was hoping I didn't miss, but I think we'll loop around. We got my dog in the car. I don't want to ever try to track some deer, so that's this would be a good opportunity for that. It probably won't be an easy one for her though, just because there's five deer to go between, but. It'll be a good learning experience for her, so good deal. <laughs> All right, so we're back where we found that hair and blood. We got the dog. She never, well, I took her on one track and the deer was still alive, so never recovered the deer with her. Actually, that's a lie, Weber's buck we recovered, but it ran like 50 yards and died in the middle of the field, but she found it. I'm interested to see, to see how she does here though. There was like five deer but I don't know if she'll be able to track the one that's hit or not, but we're, but we're about to find out. So we did look around a little bit right after and found a decent little bit of blood right like within five yards of the shot. So if she can't find it, I'm guessing we'll be able to, but I'm just gonna go over there and tell her to find it. Find it. Find it. How did we not see her fall? <laughs> huh? I don't know how we didn't see her right there. Yeah. Well, we all went, I think we all went this way. Right up to that tree. You mean us standing at that tree? Oh, I mean, we drilled it. <laughs> it worked. Gee, that's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> that is a big one. Nice. We saw like two deer go up into the timber. I thought maybe she was one of them. I could see yeah. like in the footage it was one of them. But Good job, Scout. Good grief. That's a like, huge doe. <laughs> <Jesus. laughs> well, you didn't jerk the trigger too bad. No, I guess not. Luckily, I had a good dress. I don't know how we didn't see her go down right here. <laughs> I think she probably just went straight down, it seems like. Jeez. There wasn't much blood to follow. No. Yeah, we all went by her at about 30 yards yeah. right there. <laughs> yeah. Good girl. Yeah. Good girl, Scout. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, it seemed like once she got on the right track, she got up to like right there and I think she could really smell it because she started like looking like, uh -huh. there's this thing about to come Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's what the one that was still alive that I took her on did, like got up and then she just came bolting back. Oh uh, yeah. It'd be good, it'd be good. Let me get this slid. All right, that's gonna do it for the Goodwill video. We got Jake's doe out of the woods a few hours ago, and these guys got the back straps and everything cut up, so. Got some onions and hash browns going, but we just wanted to do it just to, I guess, prove that you don't need to spend a bunch of money on clothes and stuff like that. You guys see us do it all the time. We're wearing flannels and blue jeans and whatever we can find in the closet out there, but we went to Goodwill this time and just bought most ridiculous looking stuff we could find, like this hat. <laughs> so, uh, and Jake went out and killed the doe, so. Check out thrift stores and stuff like that, too. The, the, a lot of times those will carry guns, and you can maybe even get a cheap muzzleloader or bow or something like that from a thrift store. Maybe that's a video we'll do in the future, but thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Time for backstraps, Cole Booth. <laughs>